Morning folks, the soap is brought to us from Wickham Soap here. This <laughs> is 1912 Russian leather and this is a really nice scent. I know that the two don't exactly match, but I thought leather with leather ought to, ought to work out pretty good. But man, the, the, the scent on this soap is really nice. Of course, it's summertime here in the States and so when I got this in the mail, uh, it was warm. And uh, so when you open the, the, the lid on the soap, that the, the scent just rolls right out uh, from the container. It was, it's really nice. It, it's a very pleasant scent. I've got it whipped up here in a fine accoutrements uh, lathering bowl. That's what it looks like there on the inside. Got it whipped up here. This is a, a Yaki uh, Mocha Express is what this is referred to. Um, the, the handle I found on, uh, you can... In other words, you can find one similar to this on West Coast Shaving, but the knot uh, that West Coast shave, Shaving has is, I think it's a badger, and this one here is a synthetic knot, and it whipped uh, really nice. See, it's a little, it's not quite drippy, but it is moist, it is wet, but it is, uh, man, this scent is just really nice. Uh, just awesome. Uh, shaver of the day. Using a, a Persona blade and... Earlier this week, uh, I've been shaving with this particular shaver. Uh, I've been using a Persona blade. Went four, four shaves on the Persona blade, and every shave felt fantastic. Uh, didn't notice anything with the blade until the end of the fourth shave when I was using the Allen block. and noticed there's quite a bit more stinging than usual, but uh, this particular shaver, this is an Icon. Uh, 102. It's no longer in production. So if you decide that you want to uh, look for one of these, you're going to have to go buy, sell, trade, something of the sort in order to find one like this. This is uh, this one here came by the way of Razor Refresh and the colorization on this one here is uh, uh, Nighthawk. And uh, boy howdy, this shaver is fantastic. Now I've seen this particular uh, head which is referred to as a slant some might call it a tilt because the the head itself is not twisted or torqued it's just set at an angle at, at a slant <laughs> or a tilt and uh i've seen this with uh, uh pictures of this with uh, various different kind of handles this one here is referred to as a bamboo handle but i have seen it with some other handles also with this particular icon uh the, when i was looking for postings to find out how long ago did it come out uh, the oldest posting that I could find, and it, there could be others, and maybe I just missed them, uh, back in 2014, I believe. And uh, some people really do like this particular shaver. Uh, you can tell that there's no overhang, so if you're shaving underneath the nose, that, that might be a plus. But you can tell where the blade is at. If you have to get very close to your nose, uh, in other words, that gap on each end may not be... Uh, a good thing for you it just depends you know what your needs are but most folks consider this shaver just a, a really nice smooth comfortable shaver and efficient which is in other words when you when some people refer to the shaver as a mild shaver but yet efficient sometimes when you hear that those two don't normally go together but four shaves with this one here and it is a fantastic shaver i've got a link down below for uh, razor refresh if you want to check out some more of the offerings there uh there is one in particular to it face it it just catches your eye when you see the bright yellow and the black contrast of that gillette razor man it just pops it just man it looks fantastic but anyway uh duracoat is uh what's on here and there's different kind of uh flavors colors so on and so forth uh, at Razor Refresh, is if you're interested, get a hold of Dan and uh, discuss what you may want to have done to your razor. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. I just noticed that one day that he had this, uh, by the way, of Instagram. And uh, man, I'm sure I'm glad I got this. This is a fantastic shaver. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I to put a hot towel to the face this morning. And we'll get started with... Uh, the Prairie Shave Cube from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. Uh, this one here is the uh, holiday one. There we go. And I've, when I first started, I was using this side. And now, since it's getting a little thinner, I decided maybe in order to get the most use out of this, I'll just go ahead and use the end here. But yes, I've had 
fantastic shaves with this uh, shaver. Uh, I think, the, and also I was you know trying to find what would be, if you were to buy it brand new, how much would it cost? And I think the going price back in the day, <laughs> since it's no longer made, uh, I think the going price was right around, um, I think it was right around the $75, $80 mark. I could be wrong. Like I say, it's kind of hard to find some of this information, uh, what the going price was when, when it was new. I'm not real sure when it was uh, discontinued either. But it's a pretty smooth shaver. It is awesome. I did find uh, a listing on eBay. And uh, the starting price was uh, uh, 40 bucks. They had a make an offer type thing, if I remember right. And uh, so in other words, you might be able to find it if you're really interested in it. Uh, the handle, I think, is... I think it's stainless steel, I think the handle is, and the head I think is uh, aluminum. And it only goes together one way. Uh, the head, the cap and the base plate only goes together one way, as you can probably imagine. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but right there, there is a line on the uh, base plate and cap. And the, it's, if you ever have one, you understand what I'm saying. It only goes together one way. <laughs> There's no mistake in it. <laughs> Man, this soap smells fantastic. Gave me a good excuse to use English leather. Yeah, you can see a little bit of water coming from the brush. It kind of whipped up pretty, pretty wet. Smells very good. I just really surprised. I mean, I was expecting great scent, but this one here is... I guess you might say just works fantastic for my nose. Now, when I've been using this particular shaver, since it's set up as a slant, I shave with it. I guess you might say as normal. I don't do anything special or anything unique. I will say one thing though, this particular handle, uh, I do like how it's shaped. Uh, when you're swishing around in the sink like that, uh, the way this handle is designed, it feels really good in the hand, easy to grip, and you don't have any kind of sensation or feeling that you're gonna, this thing's going to slip out of your hand. thought that was a pretty unique, unique design. At least it feels good in my hand. My hand may be a bit smaller than yours, so <laughs> your mileage may vary. But the, the shaves I've had with this shaver has just been fantastic. And sometimes I understand when sales, you know, start to drop off and new designs come out and you have to discontinue some models. But uh, this one here... It is such a smooth, easy-going shaver. I mean, it definitely feels mild, but at the end of the shave, uh, I noticed that it is very efficient. It's a uh, one of those shavers that you can. Uh, how can you? Some refer to it just go on automatic pilot. You don't have to give it a whole lot of thought. Um, I would be kind of careful with the uh, pressure because it is mild. Uh, in other words, not to get carried away. Four shaves on a Persona. And like I said, the fourth shave felt like the first shave. Really didn't notice any difference till I started applying the Allen block and noticed I had a, a lot more stinging than typically what I would. So in other words, if that part didn't bother you, you probably could have get off, got a fist shave without a problem out of that plague. But uh, for me, I took that as a sign <laughs> that it was time for a new blade. So smooth. I mean, I've used a Gillette Tech I, this this shaver here, I really do prefer more so 
because it is, it is so efficient. By the end of the shave, there's hardly anything left on my face in the way of whiskers, and, and, it, and it's so smooth. Of course, it does help to have a good soap. Oh, the soap that I used uh, throughout the shaves, I use uh, Paraso White. I'm looking over here because I got it sitting over here. I also use uh, White Star, that's uh, from Hendrix. And uh, at the, one of my uh, Old Spice mugs, I had um, Paul Molive. And I went ahead and threw in a sample of uh, Captain's Choice and um, uh, Soap Commander. So, in other words, a mashup I used it. And uh, those were the three that I used. And uh, in other words, used a variety of soap and still got the same results. Very nice shaves. The Paraso White, what I did was um, popped it out of the tub and I uh, put it in an Old Spice mug. Just a little bit of feedback, not much. But man, such a fantastic shave with this shaver. You know, like sometimes, you know, you kind of wonder when you get a hold of a razor and you get such great shaves with it, why they ever discontinued it. But I have to say there are some other razors that are just as... The Icon, the, uh, the Slant is a, another one that's a very good example. Uh, of, a, of just a really nice smooth shaver that is comparable to this. Icon has some great razors, in my opinion. I really like them. And if you're looking for something that's got a little bit more aggressiveness to it, even though most of us relate tech, the word tech, to a mild shaver, in this particular case, that's not it when it comes to Icon. You get Icon te uh, tech, it's going to be it's going to be a bit more aggressive. than they say like the slant. At least you're gonna have more blade feel, I should say. Maybe that's a better way of putting it. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, uh, Allen Block complete with rubber band. And uh, I, I moved the rubber band to the end. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. What's gonna be best getting the most use out of the product and being able to keep this rubber band on there. It, it, that's no stinging. I mean, just a fantastic shave. I really do enjoy using it. It's just because it was such a surprise. Didn't know what to expect when I got the razor. This is an unscented witch hazel, witch hazel from Sterling, but it is methylated. It is getting kind of low. I try to keep one of these in reserve <laughs> in the closet. Having a mentholated uh, witch hazel is pretty nice for me. I enjoy with the mentholated witch hazel. Mentholated pre shave soap, mentholated soap. You kind of get the idea. <laughs> I do like that cooling sensation. Feels great on the face. And you feel it working. On a smooth shaver like this, you know, it, uh, there's not any kind of um, irritation that needs to calm down or anything like that. But if you do have one, maybe a methylated uh, witch hazel might help with the uh, calming effect. Uh, the other one I would mention, too, is, uh, and I have a, over here, I refilled a uh, Humphreys uh, witch hazel bottle because the bottle that came in was glass. And in the bathroom, I'm not so sure about leaving glass in here any more than what I've already got in here with my shaving mugs. Anyway, um, tea tree oil. One that's, uh, Witch Hazel's got tea tree, tree oil might, um, might be a good addition to the, uh, to your Witch Hazel as it goes for helping with your face heal up if you, uh, got some irritation or something of the sort like that. This one here, uh, I, I've noticed that over time that, uh, and I did get, I do have another one of these and it's been a while since I've used it on camera so uh, 
to mention it. It seems like Walmart, which this is where I got this one, from time to time will be out of stock, which is kind of odd. And even pre uh, COVID 19, in other words, before the supply uh, chain got interrupted and everybody's having a shortage of this and that and everything under the world and under the sun. Uh, this one here sometimes is not always readily available at Walmart. And um, so when I ordered backup, I ordered online. But from time to time, it will be there. It is something to think about that if you're interested in like English leather, um, like I say, for me in my neck of the woods where I'm at, it's not always readily available at Walmart. So if you like walking in and picking up your aftershave, it is something to take in consideration always have a backup in other words fantastic shave this morning man my face feels wonderful smooth comfortable uh, fantastic scent uh, I got started with uh, uh, Wickham soap when it was uh, uh, super smooth and that soap was fantastic uh, uh, there was clearing clearing it out there was two flavors available one of them was uh, club soda and that club soda, oh, talking about, once again, it, the scent just rolls right off the, off the puck. Smells fantastic. My so surprised on how slick the soap was. Uh, anyway, always a great product. Appreciate it, everybody stopping in, watching the video. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shaves to you.